Okay, I lied. So <laughs> I've got one more quick little video for you. Because as I was moving um, my other browser, Chrome, I realized I had this notepad here where I had copied and pasted the form from Drip. Because what you're looking at right now, this is a test I have actually embedded, um, which I wouldn't, this is all goofy, but I embedded it just into a blog post. So what you can do is you can embed your course and I'm noticing it's not showing up on the home page, which is kind of cool. Let's see. I'm, we're just going to test here again. Let's see if we go here. Because I put it, it should be showing up on every page unless I just did not give it enough time. Oh, I don't even see the tab here. Let's go back over here really quick. Okay, so let's go to, let's log in. This is so tiny. I swear I'm getting old and blind. Okay. Um, let's go to my test post again. So what I did, and I'll show you where I got this in drip. Let's go back to our campaign. Let's go to dashboard. Let's go to the opt-in form. Okay. So this is um, the form itself right here. Okay, this is what I copy and pasted. The widget is what appears on the site. That's not what I wanted. Okay, so the widget is what appears on the site. So I'm guessing if I put, let's just, we're gonna test both. How, do, how about we do that? Okay, so anyways, I copy and pasted the form, which is this. I just copy and paste, but you wanna paste it into the text side of your post. You can see this, which, What's gonna be cool about this, let's view, just to be safe, we'll save that. And I'm sorry if the mouse is all over the place as I'm talking and <laughs> figuring this out. What I think would be awesome, okay, so it does appear. That's weird that it wasn't in Firefox showing up. I wonder if I need to restart that. Um, so it does appear here, but what I'm thinking besides the fact that I should just do only three related posts. Um, this would be cool to add to the bottom of the posts. What's interesting to me that I'm looking at this is that the text that shows up in the widget is not showing up here. And you should be able to come in. Huh, let's go back to our campaign form. Did you notice that the, all that wasn't there? The content wasn't there. That was weird, huh? Hmm. Let's swap that out. Because I do want the text and the content. And if you're good with HTML and whatnot, you can come in and customize this. Let's preview that. Let's preview that. <laughs> Survey says... Ba -ba there we go. Okay, that looks better. And I know that it might seem redundant, but keep in mind that people, once they see something, they don't always pay attention to it the second time or whatnot. You can see that it inherits, <coughs> excuse me, the button, the colors from my site. It's inherited the text, excuse me, the um, fonts. <laughs> Hello. But what I would suggest doing, and let's let's just test this on a real live post, shall we? I'm a real live boy like Pinocchio. <laughs> oh gosh, this is, you know, sometimes it's just, um, here, let's go to this, do you ever wonder, as opposed to the end of a podcast post. Okay, so let's scroll down to the end of the post. I'm gonna drop a divider in, so it looks prettier. By the way, I do have a video coming on this plugin, this is, short codes ultimate it's free in the plugin repository and we want divider uh nope we don't want to show go to the top we don't want any of that let's just see you can do a live preview i just want a nice little clean line that's all there we go and let's see if i get any you know what i should do though 
Okay, now I'm, I'm getting way too wordy. We're going to look at this and see what it looks like. But what I'm thinking is that you can probably, I'm wondering if there's a way to set up an additional form for the same campaign so you can see if it converts better from the bottom of the post. Let's view this post. Or if it convert converts better with the widget, if that makes sense. Okay, so here's the widget. We've got that. This, this will be interesting. Let's see what happens with this. Um, although I do want some space under that. That's just a little busy. Um, actually, you know what? We'll just keep it all uniform and just put another divider. I don't like it when things are one on the top of the other. Right, don't you think? Okay. <laughs> so... Wow, four videos for one post. Hopefully you're seeing the value in this. And I think it's important that you guys see too, just I, I'm testing as I go along and I'm, I'm seeing what that's like. So um, the goal is that you guys see how I do it. Now this, again, this is all just too busy. So I'm gonna be cleaning that up. Bear with me though. Yeah, I think this is cleaner and you know maybe I'll come in and I'll make that a different color or something. Um, but I like the fact that it pulls it apart from the bottom, the footer piece here. Um, anyway, so that that's video number four. I totally forgot that you could actually copy and paste the form and then embed it into your site. So um, sorry, I'm just reading and we're going to leave that alone. So that is it. Um, wow, four videos. <laughs> so I'll keep you guys posted. I will keep you updated with, with uh, my drip campaign and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so that's really the last one. Thanks. <laughs> Have a great day.